Greetings my lovelies, hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. So today I have this for you. This is classic what you eating, and this and this is a Japanese candy making kit called Odyori Tonton Gumi. So you get to make a meal out of gummy or gumi as it's pronounced in Japanese. This one is the steak version. And here are the directions on the back. So if you're new to my channel, you might have missed some of the videos I did in the past. I have tons and tons of videos making Japanese candy making kits. It's actually what started my channel back when I was living in Japan. So in case you're interested in those, I shall put the playlist link right there. All right, let's go ahead and get making this. So this is made by the company Hato, and this is version B. I am assuming there is a version A. And let's see what's inside. All right, let's see what's in here. Two packets, the red and the green powder. Comes with a rather sturdy but blunt plastic knife. And this is the mold. See all the shapes there. And here is our plate and cutting board. And this is a sturdy cardboard that is coated on one side. Very cute. All right, there we go. All right, so next we're gonna take our little red packet here and empty it into a bowl. Oh, it doesn't look very red at the moment. So we're gonna use our tray and this is going to be our water measure. I'm gonna add two scoops of water. One and two. So we're going to try to dissolve as much of that powder in there as possible. And now we're going to place this in a 500 watt microwave and microwave it for about 30 seconds. Now I can really smell it. It smells almost peachy and gelatiny. Next we're going to make the green. So same thing. All right, 30 seconds. Be right back. Stir that one as well and make sure there are no lumps. Now we're gonna take a little tray and fill it all up. Fill up our carrot. And the cherry. Okay, and the mikan. Okay, now I'm gonna fill up the cabbage with the green. And our fish. So as you probably noticed, we haven't filled in this spot yet, and this is our steak or steaky, and we're going to make a brown gumi by mixing green and red. Color theory is cool. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna mix the red into the green and stir that up. And it makes kind of cola color. And then we'll use that to fill steak. Great. All right, so now that our tray is filled, we're going to place this in the refrigerator and let it sit for about 30 minutes or until the gummies are nice and firm. All right, so it's been 30 minutes and my gummies are nice and set. Here they are, looking cute. They feel just like gummy bears. So we're going to take a little toothpick and carefully pry them out. Kind of score around the edge. Let's see if we can pop them out. There we go. There's our little meat gun. It seems like it's easier just to use your fingers to kind of just pull them out. There's our lettuce. Carrot. And cute little cherries. Steak. And fish. Very nice details. Besides making the gummies, the whole point of this kit is to use our little knife to cut them up and to place them onto our little plate here. So here's our carrot. Oops. Let's cut some cabbage. It is very satisfying to cut, I should say. There 
There we go. So here is my little miniature meal. Look how stinking tiny it is. <laughs> and of course, it's all made out of gummies. And let's give it a taste. Let's try a little bit of cabbage first. Look at that. Isn't that great how it does that? All right, tadaki moz. And it feels and tastes just like a Jello Jiggler. It's got a firmer texture than regular Jello, but it still has that signature gelatin flavor. And in this case, this is a kind of melon flavor. All right, so that was the green one. Let's give the red one a try. I'm gonna taste a little bit of this carrot. Hmm, I like the flavor of that one better. That one tastes more kind of fruity and berried, but same texture. All right, so next let's try the steak, which is the combination of the green and the red. Here we go. Mm. And that just tastes like some blend of fruit. Not bad at all. Of the three, I think I like the red flavor best. That one seems to have the strongest and kind of most distinctive taste. They all finish with a gelatin flavor, so this is definitely not vegetarian. So if you are vegetarian, you probably don't want to get this kit. Big thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make better content for you guys. They have an all-in-one platform with beautiful award-winning templates that make putting together a website really simple and easy. And it's really flexible too. If you are a restaurant owner or a designer, You'll find everything you need there. They also have 24 seven support. So if you need any help, you'll be sure to find it. So start your free trial today by going to squarespace.com and entering the code Emmy to receive 10% off your next purchase. Thanks again to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Go to story. <laughs>